for RA with that Silas and plenty. We just saw how that drive was going to work. Lots that you can be working in that bot side. So right now, Jamada, first impressions. Let, let, let me know what's going on in your mind. All right. RA, send it. <laughs> WE. <laughs> Listen, you're not oh, always going to get the long-winded analysis out of me. All right? No. Sometimes I'm just going to say it how I see it. And what I see is a well team composition. <laughs> Thank you. Now that, that's a weird one if people got that. Well done to you. That's a weird reference. <laughs> but RA just want to fight, right? They've got the Draven. They've got the winning 3v3 on the bottom side. It's all about engage, engage, engage. On the opposite side, you've got the Zeri, you've got the Lulu, you've got the Azir. It's a lot more about kiting back. It's a lot more about finding those very brief and small windows to then reposition and push forward from the side of Shanks and Hope. And we'll see, wow, what a shy -o from the crowd. That is a loud crowd. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. W you know what? People might not know this. The WE fandom is actually so it's adamant huge. as well. It's huge yeah, it's fandom. Huge. They've been around for so long. Like 2013 obviously was the, the heyday of WE. They had a, a brief period in... Uh, in 2020 uh, or 2021, where they almost were able to kind of bring it back, but there is a lot of very adamant fans of WE in, in the Chinese scene. Yeah, it's it's a huge brand, huge huge brand. Uh, has been for the longest of times, and uh, yeah, that's why you always hear those loud jios. I also heard a, a hype man in the crowd as well, getting it getting it already. I think it's always like that though. I think there's always that one leading voice for the jios. Mm. I like it though. They, they have a designated person to do it. You know, yeah. they have a designated person to turn around and go, like, "You, you will start the Gyos." <laughs> <laughs> I like that though. It's nice. Uh, but yeah, just in case you're wondering, obviously we are a little bit delayed. We did not have full picks and bands, as they are in two separate uh, cities of. Uh, Shenzhen and Xi'an, so we are a little bit behind. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch up fairly quickly. It is just the nature of such a large league and so many different venues. It has to uh, has to happen, uh, you know, unfortunately sometimes. And hopefully, we'll be catching up as quick as we possibly can. But right now, in this game, we can see a little bit of pressure here. And this is what I'm loving, the, the adaptation. And again, it's something we've been seeing so, so much. It's like hard engage bot lanes kind of saying, look, we go straight kill lane. Because against oh. something like a Zeri, you are going to be hard pressed to really get this one going here for Hype and I Hope and Iwandi. And already, oh. look at those spinning axes. Look at the damage. My goodness. I think he was juggling three decks. I think he already had two and he had the cooldown back up. So he's just throwing axe off axe, all spinning so much damage. And again, you know, uh, sort of leading off that last game, when you've got these ranged, uh, you know, sort of duos into a melee support. A lot of the reason why we've seen these melee supports fall off generally in terms of priority is, you know, the level one's really rough and it's kind of hard to navigate. And after that level one, it then, you know, sort of lends into having a losing level two and a losing level three where you've lost too much HP. You can't really play the game how you want to play it. Send it level one. Just look for a hook. If you get a good level one trade, then all of a sudden level two looks more plausible. It's so really, really nice there from Southwind, from Assume, to just get that trade in. And now, if the wave starts to bounce back uh, in the next wave after the one they've just killed, then they can start to look for some trades, which could potentially be quite positive for them. Well, full clears for both junglers as they... Uh... Yeah, into it. This is interesting as well, is that like, yes, Lee Sin is fantastic at uh, early skirmishes, but he can clear very quickly as well. That's the, the, the funny thing is that there are plenty of junglers at the meta right now who can just get themselves onto that uh, four camp start, uh, or sorry, full, yeah. full clear start without having to get the, uh, the scuttle spawns. That means they have guaranteed priority. You can see there now Heng using this uh, knowledge of the Lee Sin being on that bot side to say, look, I'm going to move up towards this top side, make sure... Oh, that was cheeky. That was cheeky as hell. <laughs> oh, I love it from Southwind. That was so clean. Yeah. Really, really nice use of the animation cancel there. It's really, really hard to react to as well, especially because, you know, you kind of think about it like this. Quarter of a second is the usual human reaction time. Fun fact. If you see Nautilus or attacking a minion, you're like, oh yeah, he's gonna or attack it. And then a dredge line's flying at your face. Hard to react to. So now that that flash is gone from Iwandi, Leon, we'll see whether or not he can get down there, try and take advantage of that, and try and get Assume going. We just saw what Fed Draven could do uh, in the hands of Photic. Assume is no slouch as well. Just to make things clear, had a pretty okay year individually, Assume in 2020. 
to, or at the very no. least, someone. Else. Someone else. No. no Get it. Thank you. Yes. Every go on cube. <laughs> <laughs> it continues oh the day of cannons. Uh, how many have we had? Like the zoom ins on the cannons today have been hilarious. At least five. At, at least. least five. Right. Like doesn't matter. And I, I also imagine it could even be separate observers, right? Because it's two separate Yeah, oh no, they're just completely separate observers. Yeah, there's so two, they're two different they're venues. Just, they're just, they're just like, they're all there's obviously board. something they're happening in the Chinese servers where everyone's saying, you gotta focus, you gotta focus in on these things right now. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, uh, we'll see who ends up winning the cannon wall right now, all right? Look at it like this. Aria are up. And obviously, we're only going to be able to count what we can see. I'll hold the point. Never mind. That's fine. Ah, keep going. A... Yeah. So, you know, we'll count what we can see, right? Cube almost lost, right? So, do we want to do it team to team or like team against the game? You know, like RA Ooh. versus League of Legends, <laughs> WE versus League of Legends, or like the canon miscount of WE versus RA? I think. Uh... I kind of like I kind of like the first one, you know. You like, like the first the, one I like I like, the I, like the, I like stacking it, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see who ends up with the worst score. Right now, Ari's up one one oh one nil in the uh, cannon department. Uh, Ari will also be picking up this first dragon. A lot of pressure on the bottom side from Southwind and Assume means that they are a little bit too scary to deal with right now. No level sixes from the side of WE. Of course, we're only six minutes into the game. Means that it's a little bit too difficult to skirmish. Uh, for now, once you have those turnaround tools, then it's a lot, you know, there's a little more room to dance. But until then, skirmishing power of Norless Draven, Lee Sin, too much to handle. W will just have to concede that dragon. We'll see what they want to try and work for here. Right now, Hing trying to be a bit of a nuisance as he roams around the map, but uh, not really going to be gaining much there as he just gets spotted out on a ward fairly quickly. Lien. Might actually get level six off of taking that ward. Might be just enough of the uh, of the um, experience that he needs. But you having that information now, you can see Hang using it to full advantage to make sure that he goes into the like this from Pubu. Actually, really good trade into Cube. And honestly, someone we we have, you know we don't really uh, get to talk about right now is Pubu because he. I'll be, I'll be honest, I'll say Mew Mew is definitely someone who is a little bit flippy. Uh, definitely feels oh, yeah. like some games he's a god, and other games he is, uh, in fact, a commoner and a bit of a pleb. So, really <laughs> need to see him have a bit of a bit of a bigger consistency coming into this. As, ooh, no lollipop for you there, Southwind. Don't know if he really wanted that. Level 6 just got hit by Hope, so it could have definitely been a much more difficult situation. But, uh, Cannon does go to the wayside. As another one shall not be given, and this has to be a, a meme on Weibo or something like that. This has to be something like that you're just bu building up, like cannons are worth so much, and yet everyone in the LPL misses them or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it, it really does. It really, really does. But yeah, BPI agree. Like some days, you know, some days he's the shy. Some days he's I don't know. I don't know who he is. Some, I know exactly I, I what wanna, you want to say. Yeah, I, you, know, you know what I mean? Some, some I know day, what you, you know, want to say. Actually, you know what? The shy on both ends of the spectrum kind of works. Because like, it feels like, the, oh, hello. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you're the shy, but sometimes you're the shy. You know? Yeah. That's just um, kind of, that's just the, the setup. Oh, speaking of setup, Asom, he's by himself. They are going to use the Whirling Death here to try and get him uh, away here. He's looking to try and maybe make okay. this one work. That feels very overzealous. Oh, Lien, oh, oh. looks for a kicks and lands. That's going to be a nice little kill over to Lien. Gets himself the return. And that is a good response here from RA. WE, though, definitely looking to try and put pressure on this bot side. But still, you have to feel the bigger win is for WE, right? They get both summons out of Assume and they also kill the stacks, right? The stacking gone. We're almost eight minutes in, so the lost stacks are available. That's a great oh, hit here. Oh, nice. He's already follows him all the way. Oh, Lien oh. gets himself another two quick kills in less than two minutes. Oh, two really well-earned kills as well. Nice mechanics on the bottom side, but also just holds on to the Sonic Wave mark on top of Shanks. After he gets knocked back, just follows it through, just about gets the recast in. And even though the drift comes through on the side of Shanks, that kill comes in. And now they'll turn it into a Herald as well. So RA doing a great job of just finding pick after pick and then also getting neutral objectives. Pew pew. What did I say? Pew, pew. What did I, I say? <laughs> <laughs> he is either the shy or he's the shy. Asim picks himself up a stack. Would have been a lot better had he done it before he died, but nevertheless, Pew Pew loses everything. Top wave as well. 
this is going to be so much gold now into Asum because they've just taken the Rift Herald. There is literally no way you can test that you can contest this here on WE. They might even get a full tower at 10 minutes. That's 10 and a half minutes. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. This Herald. It's, the drop's a little early, but I guess they're going to need it to tank up the tower. They'll still get it. Just talking about efficiency uh, of all things. As yep. There you go, Cube. Covers the bottom side, picks that one up. Tower all into Assume and Leon. Leon's already ahead, but getting Draven this gold as well. Super pivotal. They could both return to the map here with first items very comfortably, I think. Uh, oh, Leanne. for sure. For, for Leanne, sure. Up two kills, a Herald. That whole tower has to, right? 10 minutes in. Assume, Essence Reaver as well. So, really, really massive spike here for RA. WE, what are they going to do about it? There's the Gore Drink up. And then Assume, I imagine. Essence Reaver, maybe Boots. Yeah, as Boots came well. in straight afterwards just because he got the kill. Because yeah. he has a bo magical footwork. He had an assist and a kill. Brings it down to. I believe it's 10 and a half minutes at that point. Or no, believe, yeah, it's 45 seconds per kill, so it's bigger than yeah. 10 and a half minutes, so he just gets it after that. So there it is. Plenty more for RA to kind of go for. And honestly, RA have been a little bit of a, you know, a dark horse in my eyes. RA have kind of put themselves in, in you know, in this so far, this uh, this first half of the of the split as a, a, a very solid playoff team. Yes, they're four and three, but you look at the teams they've lost to, it's literally been BLG, LNG and Top Esports, who are all exceptional rosters. And even the BLG series, which they only just lost to recently, they could have won. Yeah, they have. They've really been on the edge of picking up a lot of series. Uh, just falling short, right? And I feel like that's always the fun thing about these middle of the table teams. They're always, you know, on the cusp of something great. Leanne, is he going to get it? Oh, he is! <laughs> Leanne, Leanne is just not having anything right now. He is not letting anyone away with anything whatsoever. We're gonna see Asum moving in onto Hope, but they're gonna back themselves away. I say oh that, because no. they're gonna land. Leanne isn't done with you. As he moves forward, there's a Nautilus all of a sudden. Leanne is a monster, and he's just cleaning WE up. Who is this guy, Leanne, all of a sudden? I mean, he's always been that carry player, right? But my goodness, he is on a tear right now. Q off the Q, kill off the kill. He is setting up everything, steals away the dragon. WE just in the more shambles. Plates. And there's more plates going into Assume. This guy is playing out of his mind right now. That was just an insane sequence. I mean, you know, it Look is at simple at the end of the day, but just yeah, exactly. That's what I took the words out of my mouth. Just the confidence to just know, yeah, this is never their dragon. And just finding the rest of the skirmish is great. Cube finds the lockdown onto Hope, drops the exhaust on him from the spellbook. Just a little bit of chase down, but it's just waiting for Leon to get here. Another lock up on the queue. Leon just isn't done. South window of the wall. Blast cone couldn't be stopped by Iwandi. Hope falls. Really, really great stuff from RA. And this last five minutes, it's been so explosive, right? Off the back of the dive from WE, they were the ones looking to shut down a soon. It has been all break. Uh, all action, no breaks. There you go. Other way around. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you can have breaks when you've got a, uh, a Lee Sin moving forward like this. And look, hey, you know, you know, it, you it's me. just insane. <laughs> it is insane. You asked me, sorry to cut you. What is the point of Ari's composition? Right? You wanted some you analysis. Said send I it. said send it. You said send it. And they are doing just that. Hope gets donated to the Adoration Fund as Leanne wants another little piece of the action. Four, zero, and two on this Lee Sin. I don't care about bot lane anymore. I'm just glad the jungle's getting shaken up and Leanne's not done. Leanne wants more. Leanne's gonna look for Shanks in the mid lane. He doesn't have flash yet. And Leanne finds them again. This guy is ridiculous. He's just smurfing. He's in low elo right now. He doesn't give a damn about anything. He's going lane to lane to lane and murdering everything in his sights. And RA is just setting him up beautifully across the board. WE. Are just they're in, they're just baffled by what's going on right now. They're just having plays happen in front of them. No reaction at all. They need to find some composure. Though I say it, they're already six thousand gold down. It's fourteen minutes into the game. I don't want to say it's too late, but the way I mean, that, uh, RA are playing, <laughs> the level of execution is just. Look, I'm not saying <laughs> that like if this was my game and I'm WE that I'm saying slash FF, but sometimes like. Leanne goes from this bot lane play where there Hen is there. Hen is covering this play and has to back away because he knows that there's just nothing they can do. It's so crazy. 
they, like you say, they've read the play. They know what's going on. It still happens to them. They can't do anything about it. Numbers advantage is just in RA's favor. They've just been running around, finding kill after kill. We'll see if they can continue to snowball this, right? Another dragon. It's just Cloud, but maybe you get an early Elder. I don't even know if this game's going to go to Elder at this pace, but things like that. Just pick up the soul. It just becomes more oppressive, right? All of this roaming around. All that out of combat movement speed, the flat movement speed in general, it's going to get you to places a lot faster. You end up with, you know, almost Moby Boots, right? Once you have two Cloud Dragons and a soul picked up. Bye bye, huh? Nice knowing you. Catch it. And it becomes just even more oppressive with, what, running around with an extra 100 MS almost? I think it's, I don't know, numbers kind of average at like 80 or whatever. But you get the point. And WE, even if we get to that soul point, not sure they're going to be able to defend <laughs> now, let alone then. And the Herald should be on the card here for RA. And what a state of the game right now. Look, it's best of three. Obviously, things can happen. You take the Draven, if it snowballs, that's unfortunate, you know? But it's how they're doing it. This isn't just because they have a Draven. This is because of the way they're playing. This wasn't because, you know, fair enough, the bot lane play, they're ahead, that's fine. But the fact that Leyen goes from bot lane immediately back to mid, finds a kill because they are timing everything. They went for that bot lane play because they knew Awandi didn't have a cooldown on his ultimate. So they knew they could burst someone out before that wild growth came in. He goes immediately back mid because he knows Shank's flash isn't available. These are the small little details that are just being trinkled across the map here for RA. And that's the sign of a very scary team. A team that can go cool. You're only 10 seconds away from your flash. You're probably thinking you're pretty safe. No, guess what? You're not. You've got 10 seconds to kill you and we're going to do just that. And it just feels so good for RA. It feels like this team that has been building for so long, back when they were Vici, back when they tried to, you know, bring an eye boy, it didn't really work out. They've been piecing together what works for them, and it's just beautiful to watch. Yeah, it is. It is, it is, it is indeed. You know, they've always been kind of middling for a while, but for the first time in... I'm not really sure how long. I'm not really the historian here. <laughs> um, <laughs> feels like, feels like uh, they can kind of try and make a breach into, you know, that sort of top seven, six region, right? It could be a potential finish for them at four wins already. They have quite a few teams they could very plausibly still take down uh, in their remaining matchups. TT, FPX, Ultra Prime. They have a lot of strong teams left, but those three, including the series here today, bring them up to eight wins. It's not impossible. Here we go. Here's a play. They're looking for a play. They can't kill him. They just can't kill Strife. Finally, they get a little bit more damage down. TP going to be used. Whirling oh. dead. Ooh. Oh, if he had a couple more stacks, I think he has some kills in there. But yeah, you can see Bubu looking maybe for a flash, trying to get onto lay in. But it's going to be very difficult to really make that stick. He's too far ahead. He's got too many too many items, to be perfectly honest. Too many levels. He, we talked about catch-up XP, but I don't think it matters because he's just rich. <laughs> yeah, he is just wealthy. And you know, one thing... I was having a conversation about it. I'm going to derail because I feel like this, this game go is whatever it, RA wants you, it to you be. Do, you bring this wherever you want to go. <laughs> one, one thing, you know, I feel like when teams get ahead, if, you're, if you remember the old stat back in the day where a level used to be worth like 600 golden stats. Yeah. I can't remember. I don't know what it is now, but because champions get more health and like general stats per level, it's just more than a thousand gold. So levels are actually super important in League of Legends now. Now, even more so than before, just because of how many base stats you get. So when you start pulling ahead in XP, like you said, all right, yeah, cool, rubber banding, the XP. I mean, hell, that was actually my original point, so thank you for bringing it back there. It can keep you in the game, but the point is, if you're snowballing a lead like this, where level leads can start to accrue across the board, it just becomes, you know, even more impossible because now it's not like, oh, this person's two levels ahead of me. They're like 1,100 gold ahead of me. All of a sudden, they're like almost 2,000 gold in base stats ahead. And that just starts to become even more insurmountable than it used to be before. Just off the levels alone, let alone the items, which have, by the way, come in. Assume has his Infinity Edge. Uh, didn't go towards the Mythic, of course, being on 13-3 uh, now. Because I think we skipped off on Pix Patch. Yeah, the we did. 13 1B. We were just on 13 1B for a while. Uh, of course, the crit item changes have come in. Uh, no, they pick on Q, Good flash. but yeah. And I'm going to be honest, Sheen. It would have taken him a while to die anyway. <laughs> so. I mean, I was going to say, I was like, look, I like an idea from WE to try and catch somebody out. 
but <laughs> it does feel like if you were to choose anyone, that's not my top choice. But I mean, who do you, who do you go to right now? Because yes, you know, going for cube is it maybe the most ideal as the turret does end up falling. Cube doesn't have ultimate now available. There will be Bubu -Bu going mega very very soon. I don't think Cube's going to be dying here, but we'll take a fair chunk of his own health bar as Leen. The rest of RA kind of pressure now on the bot side, but they can destroy this Baron very quickly. Juve, a lot of shred here, considering how far the Draven is. If he gets a couple more crits, you know, he's only on 40%, so he's still waiting to try and get really up to that, but look how fast it's going. Yeah, teleport's coming in here for Cube as well, just to play bodyguard. Half HP already. Wing in the wings, hung. He's looking for it. Not quite able to get a flash there by Hope is good, but... Already you can see the Whirling Death coming in. They're trying to burn off the jungler so they can guarantee themselves. But with Hang not going down, they take the next best thing, which is going to be that Azir. Shanks dies for, I believe, the third time in this game. 0-3 and 0. You've only had one kill. It's a minute 30 until the soul. That's going to be a 23-minute soul now for RA. And I just don't see how you can contest this. No, no, no. RA are on a roll right here. They are in Zen mode. And WE not able to keep up with the months in this one. Tier 2 goes. They'll reset. They've still got two minutes. Plenty of time for that Baron. But yeah, turnaround is just good. Strive just waiting for the first member to step up to him. And unfortunately for WE, it's their jungler. Too much damage just in the combo alone. Half HP. Doesn't actually use the ult on him. Uses it on Shanks. Good Goth flash. Down. Yeah, great flash. But unfortunately, it means that with the repositioning, he's not able to get any more damage in. Pull back. Doesn't quite have enough damage to take down Hung, but Shanks just caught in the middle of it at that point after the Viol goes into him. Now R8 back out on the map, Baron for another 90 seconds, Towers on either side of the map still take base to crack as well. Dragon to get, the list just goes on for whatever they want to just continue to grow this gold lead. Yeah, and I love this itemization coming out right now from uh, from Leon. He's got himself a phage. That's going to be building into a stairs gauge, which gives him, again, just more playmaking ability. He doesn't need necessarily resistances. He just needs health bar. He just needs time to be able to put himself in a good position because once he gets the kick off onto a key carry, he's done his job. And <laughs> done his job very well, might I say. Also, we're just not going to see Asim go towards the Mythic right now. He's just saying, screw it. I need the Bloodthirst and the Infinity Edge, the uh, the Essence Reaver. We talked about it in the last game where the, uh, the, the, the Bloodthirst would have been key for the uh, Draven of uh, NIP for Photic, but Asim's just saying, cool, look, look, the Immortal Shield Bow is actually just a worse version of this if I don't need attack speed. <laughs> yep. Uh, just wants the flat damage and heal up. Of course, the overheal shield as well is just going to yep. give him that little bit of uh, extra survivability. And WE, frankly, I mean, they barely have the damage to kill one member. Getting through that health bar and the potential regen of the Bloodthirst up. Almost definitely not, unless they are dumping every tick in. There's the Cloud Salt. You're going to see people are just going to zoom around the map now. Blood Rush as well from Asum 24 7 just to get around the map. And yeah, the oppressive rotation is just going to continue to get more oppressive. R8 just going to get to places first. I mean, look how fast Strive is moving. Is that 488 movement speed? It's a little bit small. My 85, feet, so I, I think, yeah. 85, yeah. Either way. <laughs> Three movement speed off. It's still uh, You're close. Fast. You're, You're close. Practically <laughs> at, yeah, practically at Mobis, right? With that movement yeah. speed. Minimal it's Swifties. Pretty <laughs> yeah, like Swifties, Mobis, really, really close. Here we go. Really go forward. You're going to try and get a last-ditch effort. They're going to get the kick in. Oh, the stolen Gnar as well. There's just uh -oh. nothing you can do. There's a double coming in straight away for Asum. We'll see Shanks getting one more down, but a triple comes in. Maybe even a Quadra. They're looking for it, but he shall not be given it. Remember, pentakills are earned, not given. And this is going to be RA just... Just decimating WE. And look, we could have an endgame call, but I'm going to start the... Uh, the end game analysis before even the Nexus explodes. <laughs> How, what does WD do in the game number two? Because I feel like right now they just got outclassed in every single way. Yeah. Uh, and this is a rough one because, I mean, I'll, I'll try and look at it from the perspective of like coaching staff, right? You have not too many proactive tools in the early game, but you've got a lot of scaling. This really feels like, what a great kick, by the way, in the Gnarl. What do you really... Everything just layers in. Sorry, I, I just can't get over how, how clean that play was. Uh, 
like, where do you go from the side of WE, right? Do you just look for more agency to try and match what Ari just put on the table? Because I feel like draft doesn't really inherently matter in this game when you just get out blast, right? Like, if, if you just get run over, what do you do in terms of analysis to, to look back at this game and, and go like, yeah, I think we should do this and this differently. I, I would say, maybe you just try and bring it to RA. If you go towards another draft like this, there's nothing inherently stopping RA from just doing this again. So yeah, <laughs> it's I mean, a it's, it's, it's a, des it's it's a, a really desperate, it's a desperate call because it really is just like, how do you stop this? Like, sure, you know, you can maybe get rid of the Draven. That doesn't snowball as hard, but I don't really feel like that was really the issue. I feel like the Lee Sin was a big issue, but if you're giving over another priority jungler, Pew Pew will be able to trade back fairly effectively here in the Strife. He needs to get his auto attacks off if he really wants to try and take this combination. I don't know if he wanted to go for that fight straight away, but with Leanne coming straight back in, he now has the support of his 507 buddy. Asum says, I want better KDA, and takes that with the Whirling Death. And also, I, uh, it looks like he, I don't even think, oh, okay, he's got a Serena Dirk. I was just about to say, I don't think Asum's going to finish off with a Mythic. <laughs> yeah, he might not. Unless he's building Eclipse now. Um, <gasps> but Eclipse wouldn't be a bad, actually. Yeah. I mean, well, no, no, not Eclipse, sorry. Uh, Edge of Night. I would have preferred Edge of Night. Just so you don't uh, die. You never die. Yeah, Banshee Shield. That's yeah, that's pretty smart, Sheen. Yeah, pretty smart. I like it. Yeah, I, 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 I like to game. I'm a gamer, you know? You sure? <laughs> <laughs> like, he just had the voice of like, I never doubted that. Uh, 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 about it. Now, okay, okay, Ashin. Ashin. Sorry, I don't yes. like what you Ashin. Cue no, the Mission right. Impossible music. Very hard to dun, sync that up dun, over dun, thing, but yeah, no, you ain't getting yeah. it in. <gasps> oh! <gasps> never mind, he got in, but he died. <gasps> that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a legitimate man. jump scare. <laughs> I love oh, Lord. Uh, hey, so God loves a trier. That's all that matters. But yeah, this game, this game is uh, is all but done. But uh, gave gave us a nice little moment right at the end there. But yeah, all right, gonna take this game one and on uh, WE. They got to figure out what they're doing left next. You know, next game is yeah. uh, it, it's gonna be tough. Not a, not an enviable position for sure. No, no. RA just playing with their food here before they inevitably finish this one off. Maybe a little bit of an overstep from Southwind. We'll go down, but next is spare. Sum is hitting it. He's kind of wondering what the rest of his team is doing. He wants to go to game number two. And I think WE, WE have probably been looking forward to game number two for about 15 minutes now. I mean, excellent, yeah. Excellent game. From and this RA. is why you need to play those scrims where it all goes wrong in the first 10 minutes. Because if you don't, <laughs> you're not going to know what to do. And that being said, it's very hard either way. I don't think you gain much out of it either way. I just like, no. I don't know why. I like.